Alright guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to show you how to quickly rip a job in Maintop. To rip a job, R-I-P, uh, it's a lot easier than most people think. At times, people would like to rip a job before they print the job. At times, we would print the job directly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rip a job before you print it. So. Uh, to do that, get any file you want. In my case, I picked this particular one and I set the size of the object to the size of the page, which is 24 inch by 24 inch, which is the same thing as two feet by two feet. Then I centralize the file to this page, right? By pressing this button and then this button. Now, to rip a job, you press the print. When it brings this up, the first thing you want to do, so to rip a job is like saying, I want to set up the job, but I want to have the files handy without printing directly from main top. Yes, you're not printing directly from main top, but then you are still using a subset of print or main top, which is called the print manager. So most of the times we rip when we want to print from the print manager. Back in the day, most people like to use a rip, but the more recent printers will just use main top directly but then if you wanted to go by the old school this is what you will do so you go to properties and then you set all the properties for your job in my case i'm going to set 360 by 720 dots per inch when i come down here i want to set four pass or to set paper the lightness here is always two for me if my printer head is new i use two but if my printer is slightly old i just drop it down the closer this is to displace the darker the job gets and the closer this is to displace the lighter it gets so you choose whatever you want so i'm going to click auto set paper what auto set paper does is to set this section here to the size of the object if for instance this place is only using this space up by the time you print your printer will stop short of whatever is here so always leave auto set paper on then press ok for the gamma i'd like to set it at 1.1 or 1.2 depending on what works for you so you do experimenting uh your color driver is never going to be like my color driver so you use the settings that matches your color driver and then instead of pressing ok which would have taken it to the main print manager in this case we would press print to file so what it does it's that it then opens a place for you in your system where you can save a printable file a printable copy of your job so in this case i'm just going to create a folder in the desktop so i'm going to call it uh, i'm going to click desktop and i'm going to create a folder on desktop and say test print and then i'm just going to open this up and I'll name the file. So let's just say banner two by two feet. And then it's gonna generate a PRN file type. So that is the file we need. And then you press save. Now it's gonna take a while. It's going to prepare the job. What it's doing is generating a digital copy of your print with all the settings that you have on it. And then it's gonna create a file that you can use to print from your print manager on main top you can also as well use the same file to print on your a tools if you want to know how you can print from a tools i have a video here on the side of the screen and then if you want to know how you can in this video i'm going to show you how to print a print manager so now that the file is created what next we need to do is to come here and then go to start and then type print manager so main top print manager so we're going to open that up um it's more like your spooler in hp printing so just say restart manually by using the click ok now this is the main top print management system so if you go to file you can then say add a print job now you'll go to the folder where you have the job Scroll down and look for test print. Oh, this dude. And then you press this guy. So what main top will do is that it will load up the content for print. If this machine was connected to a printer, this would have just printed, right? But because it's not connected to a printer, that's why it looks like this. 
so again you go to add print job select the prn file and then you print right so i want you to keep that in mind while you're working with a mentor so that's about it i hope this has helped you if it has i want you to hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn on the notification bell and i will see you in the next video thank you bye take care